right, YouTube. Well, a few years ago, we had this president that won his way into the White House. Everybody was excited. Mm -hmm. I was excited, too. My girl was excited before she passed away. Well, because he was the first black president. Yeah, yeah. Well, she's yeah. excited, too, as well. I was excited. Um, so what we have are some of his top five accomplishments. Now, I looked everywhere on YouTube trying to find a video that told me some of Obama's accomplishments. And find one video? I, I found this one. It said five, yeah. five accomplishments that he, you know, accomplished. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, I'm not sure if it's a full list, but it just broke it down. It's like the so top five things. the video? Uh, it's like it's like a minute and a half. Minute and a half. <laughs> accomplishments. Can't you get a man a minute to talk about his accomplishments? Okay, it's a minute and forty four seconds. Of everything that he did. Okay, top five things. Top five things. A minute. Or, okay, and let me say this right seconds. here. Top five things that he either pushed, um, and and it was passed, or yeah. that he had some type of involvement in as president of the United States at the time. Okay. Five things. That's 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 that's. So then, uh, then I'm gonna ask, um, the next part. It's like a two part for this one. A two part. Yeah, it's like a two part. So you gonna go to another one? I'm gonna go to another video. Are we still recording? No. Well, yeah. Okay. That's, that's, that's a minute. That's your thing. What? <laughs> let's let's get it. All right. <laughs> Because America negotiated from a position of strength and principle, we have stopped the spread of nuclear weapons in this region. Look, he's been a horrible president. More Americans are working, more have health insurance, incomes are rising, poverty is falling. Thanks, Obama! Interesting in that. I just thought he did healthcare. I didn't know he did. Um, <laughs> I guess I was focused on the wrong thing. I know about the <laughs> so healthcare. That's dude, all, that's all dude. they was. That's all they was pushing. We got. We, we didn't even get Obamacare, yo. It's out there. We could. We didn't. We, we didn't qualify. We can't have got a course. It was an income thing, right? Yes. Okay then. <laughs> about to be sitting around here. Half broke man trying to see if you can afford that. If you can get uh, Obamacare, then you you struggling. You struggling real bad. I, we we not you know we not struggling that bad. I'm not gonna let that. Well, I tried to apply the thing that not me right up front. So I was like, well, hey, I'm not gonna do that. So why would you apply? I didn't time? know it was that. Oh okay. Maybe I should have read the fine print. Mm -hmm. All right. Anything else? He did so um, abuse right. Yes, he got he Better. did that for the for the okay. women. Yes, he did that. Domestic violence. Um, domestic and he violence. Did, um, the LGB, mm -hmm. you know, he did that right there. LGBTQIA. Okay. You know, you know, mm -hmm. which is you know everybody has you know you know the right to be what they want to be. But we have already been equal, so like, why does that have to be a thing <sighs> as as your forefront? We all been equal. Did you see anything that how it took um it, any of those? I mean, I guess the the health insurance and extending Medicaid did help out. Um, you know, 
the black community. Trying to make it okay. I told you what all I um what all I seen. Oops. Minute, one minute. It was minute and forty four seconds. seconds. Yes. Now we're gonna find out was he a good president? Okay. Okay. The first time I voted for him, I felt that he was gonna make do something a little bit better. I think with the health care thing, they didn't apply to me. Well, let's get this good. Every ain't nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. But I expect you, my when you get in that seat, that. do your job. Mm-hmm. When I go to work, my job is to move trailers to the port and go back to you know the location, pick more trailers up, go back to the port. If I lack in between there, they'll find somebody else to do my contract. So my thing is, as a president, you get in there and you do your job. For and, it, and then one if you proclaim me to be a Christian, I expect to see Christ in you. Bottom line. If you, so you want to see if Christian you, if principles. You're proclaiming to say you you worship the devil, then I expect to see you work the devil in you. It is what it is. That's how I look at it. So when I looked at him, all I see was I thought I he was see a Christian. I, I, I did at first I saw him as being a, a Christian, mm-hmm. but I guess it just went to um him not necessarily having a relationship. It was just more of a religion type of thing to say that hey a hobby yes I'm Habit. a Christian but then you're not doing the Christian things um, just something to do it's just something to do something right. you practice everyday thing everything it's not a relationship when it's a relationship in a relationship you're actually listening to a person mm-hmm. so but you're taking I, other people's you know about everybody you're not just picking a hand picking and choosing who it is you feel should deserve whatever yeah all right, so was he a good president? So in this part of the video, it's going to... It's going to it break it down to show me um, the things that he did. No, it's not going to do that. What is going to do? <laughs> it's not going to do that. I really want to know. <laughs> so they're going to interview these two young ladies uh-huh. who they actually, well, they were they were younger at the time mm-hmm. and how they felt, you know, how they felt about Obama in the beginning and then now how they feel about Obama and basically answering the question, was he a good president in their, you know, in their sights, in their eyes. And that's the thing. Everybody has their flaws. Everybody has, a, everybody has what their I flaws. What I expect everybody you to do your job, man. That's all, that's all I'm asking for. Do your job. Yeah. I know Trump has some, a couple of issues, you know, but he did his job. As simple as that. But it was more for, it was for the entire country. Exactly. Yeah. That's all I'm asking. Do your job. Do your part. As simple as that. Mm-hmm. Right? You keep on digging. No, no, it's so crazy. <laughs> Let's get it. Man. All right. At this defining moment, change has come to America. It was eight about. years the change ago. Of, now it's the first. It's the first black president. That's what he was talking about. Not nothing else. No. <laughs> Did you see anything else? Okay, carry on. Okay. When America elected its first African-American president, earlier that night, I was in Washington, D.C. at Howard, a historically black university. In the moment Obama was declared the winner, the room erupted. In the melee that followed, I spoke to two young women who until then had never dared to dream this moment would ever come. Did you not think it could happen? I never thought in my lifetime that it would happen. But it happened tonight. It's a reality and we did it. America is now more united. We did it. Because I can't believe that I got the opportunity to live to see something so great. Like, it's, I can't describe it. I can't believe I got the chance to vote for something. They were just two young, joyous faces in the crowd. We didn't even know their names. All these years on, what have they made of Obama's presidency and their dreams of what it would bring? Finding one of them took us to the city of New Orleans, the Big Easy. The racial scar on President Bush's reign 
The city has never fully recovered from Hurricane Katrina. This is where we found Sandy Booker in her hometown. Now 26, she's doing an MBA at MIT and hoping to launch her own business. How are you? Lovely to see you. It's so good Lovely. to see you. Very nice to see you. She is a living testament to what happened here. The largely black community flooded out of the city by Katrina, many of them never to return. She herself says she is still not ready to go back to the devastated district where she lived. We're already talking about it long before the maths. I was curious to see how she feels now about the night Obama won. Oh. <laughs> I'm on a chair, I think. <laughs> Their parents were at school when Martin Luther King was slain. Their grandparents were the children of slaves. For them, America has crossed a rampart from which no retreat is possible. Look at you. Yeah. Are you as hopeful today as you were eight years ago? No, in no way. In no certain way. There's still a lot of us who are suffering and um, who have not experienced the hope that was promised, I think, in that video, to be quite honest. What should he have achieved that he didn't? I think that he had a big impact for a lot of communities except his own. I wish that my, my black president would have spoken more to black people. When it comes to whether it's the justice system, equal access to health care, job opportunities, the suffering that we've had at the hands of police, he quite honestly failed us and disappointed a lot of black people. As a highly educated black woman, do you experience prejudice? So uh, I've, I've dealt with it in different ways. Uh, I was in a car with my girlfriend. We were stopped by a cop, and he never told us the reason for stopping us. Um, but I just remember the fear that grasped me. Um, I couldn't even look him in the face because in that moment, I was scared for my life. I can't take out a graduate degree from MIT and say, look, this is who I am. That doesn't matter in that moment because in that moment, my skin is seen as, as, as a threat. Imagine how that feels, for the color of your skin to be seen as a threat to a police officer who has the power uh, to let you walk away with your life or not. Doesn't matter what heights you ascend to in this country. Hmm. Doesn't matter, you know, so. Hmm. And that's what's upsetting. To come from this great place, I came from poverty and to ascend to the heights that I have with an education, but to still know that to some people, I'm just simply by the color of my skin. That's hard. Yeah. Eight years ago, she said America was more united than ever. Her feelings now couldn't be more different. The time was now, and I, I don't know that he sees that time and that moment in the way that he could have. Um, and so it's, it's kind of like, you know, I look back and it's, well, what happened? Where, what happened to the promise? Kalani Cook was 19, studying medicine. She's now 27, a software engineer. I caught up with her at her mum's house in the Chicago suburbs. I don't know why this making me emotional. Do you still feel like that? 100%. 100%. He's not disappointed you? I think that in a lot of ways, President Obama's hands were tied in a lot of different ways. And so for that reason, do I agree with every little thing he did? Not necessarily. But to see like everyone come together mm -hmm. and like vote for someone who 
even 50 years ago, no one would have ever even looked his direction, mm. you know? And so I think his presidency means so much. Hope was his campaign. Are there things that you hoped for then that he hasn't delivered? I think everyone puts so much pressure on one man. Mm. He couldn't be black people's president. Mm. He had to be everyone's president. And I think a lot of people lost sight of that. They kind of looked at him as a savior instead of someone who just wanted to create a little change each day at a time. So what has having a black president done to race? I think it shed a light on the people who weren't ready for that to happen. Mm. And his election opened up Pandora's box of these sub-communities who just absolutely weren't for it. Trump would not be where he is had Obama not been president, period. Because Trump is catering to those people who that night of the election that you watched me scream and yell and cry, those people who were doing the same thing but for a different reason. They were screaming and yelling and crying because they could not, at the end of the day, have a black man in the White House. I wonder how history will judge him. I hope history is fair to him. It was here in Chicago's Grant Park where Obama gave his historic acceptance speech. But tonight, because of what we did During his time in office, he was stymied by a Republican-held Congress. His presidency was also overshadowed by the worst racial tension in America since the civil rights movement in the 60s. Oh, this is it. This is it! Grant Park, where Obama gave his speech. This is so cool. He would say, It's not about the red states. <laughs> it's not about the blue states. We have never been just a collection of individuals or a collection of red states and blue states. It's about the United States of America. We are and always will be the United States of America. I must say you're pretty good. I'm passing good. it to you. <laughs> I'm passing it to you, America. Thank you for these eight years. Obama, out. <laughs> and he moonwalks off the stage. <laughs> oh. Obama, Obama, hallelujah, Lord is done. Could he have done more? Should he have done more? The symbolism, the expectation was so high. Perhaps the legacy of that joyous night eight years ago is one of both pride and disappointment. You think his hands are tied? I, as a president, I, I feel that um, you're the president. So was his hands tied? No. You think that he could have did more? Yes, he could have pushed to more for, more for what? But but I mean, but it wasn't even about just for the black community or mm -hmm. anything. It was just for the what United States of America. Yes, right? yes. Okay. If it help, if it was going to help the United States as a whole, what was the problem? What are you president of? You're president of... The United States of America. So what are you going to do for the United States of America? Yeah, yeah. I mean, everybody said how what? Bush just did what he wanted to do. Signed, uh, uh, signed whatever he, he wanted he to sign. Bills. But, I mean, but... It, <laughs> what no. <joke. laughs> no. No, more could have been... More more could have been done. Um, As far as what could have been done, hey, I... Uh, I, I, it's, it's just too many things to name, too many things to list. And yes, you go in having high expectations for the next president, but like she said, some people were crying because he was the first black like president. president. Yes. Some people were crying because he, you know, was elected as the first I, black I president. Too. You know, I, I was excited as well. I, and I, I had high hope. I had high. I, you know, I think Michelle Obama did a lot of stuff too, man. Yeah, you know, she, she did change that lunch for the worse. I tell and you that. She changed it where school. they had it in the uh, White House. They had to wear like tailored suits. She changed that man because they've been wearing those black Listen, suits. Listen, come to the school and see the lunches. That's different. I never ate lunch when I was in school. I would not eat it now. Like I said, she did change <laughs> the um, 
the attire, attire of, of the white of house. the staff. Yeah, yes, yeah, because they was wearing them white and black, you know, tux, man. What a thing called penguin suit. Yeah, for years, man. Like, I think he was passing them down here, man. You know, my uncle in the colonial time, yeah, in 1955, man. You know, <laughs> pass it down to you, man. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, th- 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 but you, you think that's. I can't say that everything that he did in the White House was a bad thing. Yes, he did things that were good. Um, like I said in the previous video, it only gave us five of the things. But you think of um, the things that he did, say so he was going to do. But then you look at, okay, as as a, as a United States of America, you know, what, what did it, it did bring us together on certain things. Like what? Um, Health care. You just said you didn't get it. Other people. Oh, so it brought them together. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess, I, I don't know. And my big, like I said, my biggest thing is doing your job. Yeah. At the end of the day, just do your job, man. Start That's doing what your I job. Expect, man. You know, if you're the president of the United States of America, you have to stand firm, man, and do your job. It's just the bottom line, man. You are the president of the United mm-hmm. States of America. Do your job. Yeah, and I'm preventing the violence against women. That was, of course. Of that 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 is a really good one because you don't want to see anybody hurt because of you know, mm-hmm. you know, in a, in a relationship. So what, like, what what did he do to prevent the violence? Well, he made it what stricter for them to get out of jail for the um, person that's doing mm-hmm. assault. For real. I've seen so many murders this year with women get murdered. You know, for well, abuse. they um, go to jail and they get out. Well, they do go they to jail and they get out. They got to go through uh, anger management classes, but they get out and they go back and kill the women. That has, that has happened here. That has happened in in, in actually our, do, in our so city. So where did what did it change at in another uh, state or because here, unless Byron unless Byron forgot about it. I'm just, I'm just asking, man. I, I haven't seen no change with that. No, I, I think mean, that he made it aware, you know, of the. You're more aware, uh, yeah. More aware of it. Yeah. You're more aware of it, but yeah. yeah, you're right. I mean, yeah, you are seeing the um, the criminals back on the street a little bit faster. Okay. All right. So. All right. You love him or hate him. He's very intelligent. Hey, but he's very intelligent. You can't not not you know. Obama for the whole thing, but I did not vote for him in the second term. I just felt that, you know, I didn't see what I, I guess what I was expecting or what I was hoping for the first mm-hmm. term. So when it was came time to re-elect him, I did mm. not vote for re-election. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. didn't vote for him either. Yeah, so both on the same page about that. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, YouTube. Don't forget to like and subscribe and continue to check us out and we will see you later. Peace. Peace.